Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone X or XS or XS Max or the iPhone XR. I'm gonna show you how to use AirDrop. So very, very simple. The first thing is, let me show you how to access it on these phones here. Top right hand side, I want you to slide down. And now we see this little square right here, okay, with the uh, Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth. What you need to do in order to get to the AirDrop to turn it on or off is you need to hard press or basically a force press anywhere around here, okay? So if I do this, and now you'll see this option here, AirDrop, and it says everyone down here pops on. Now the thing is, you don't simply tap. If I go ahead and tap like the Wi-Fi, if I tap it, it'll go on and off. You have to basically press down a little bit harder. So let me do that again. So press down anywhere, even if I click on the Wi-Fi a little bit hard, and then this will pop up, okay? And again, I'll just do it anywhere else. I usually just do it right in the middle, just like that. Now this pops up here. And we can see right here, it says airdrop here, it says everyone. So if I tap on this right here, you can put receiving off, you can turn it off. So if I turn it off, then it's not gonna be highlighted no more. Let me go back in here. And of course you have contacts only and everyone. I like to leave it at everyone here. And it's currently on. And to, and to get out of this, you just tap anywhere in the blank space, like down here or up there. I just tap down here and we're back to that. Now let me go ahead and transfer like a photo and a video from a different iPhone, okay? Okay, so this is gonna be a direct connection, okay, from one phone to the other. If it's your friend's phone or whoever, if anybody comes over here right now with an iPhone, we'll be able to do AirDrop, we'll be able to transfer files to each other, okay? So anyways, here's a uh, iPhone 8 here, and just for example purposes, let me go ahead and log in here. Okay, so first thing to note is for me to transfer from one iPhone to the next, you have to have Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth on on both phones. Now, this Wi-Fi is not about your Wi-Fi connection. You don't you don't have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. You're basically using Wi-Fi direct. Now, now I know sometimes you don't have to use your uh, Wi-Fi. Um, you don't have to turn the Wi-Fi on, and it still works just from the Bluetooth itself. However, if it doesn't turn the Bluetooth on, it doesn't have to be connected to a actual Wi-Fi network in your house or your office or your school or whatnot. Okay. So, anyways, both phones have to have the Wi-Fi just on, it doesn't have to be connected to any kind of network. And also the Bluetooth needs to be on. So I have both of them on here and both of them are on here as well. By the way, this is an iPhone 8 here. If you want to get to the uh, AirDrop menu, instead of doing the uh, sliding top right hand side going down, with this one you would slide up. The ones basically will have the home button, you slide up. Okay, and then it's the same thing I have right here. So Bluetooth is on, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi too. I'm connected to a network, but again, it doesn't matter if you're connected to a network or not. So now, right from here, let me just go into my photos here. And let's just first airdrop a photo, then a video. So I'll just go with this photo right here. And then from here, I will go in the bottom right-hand corner. I would tap that little square down there, tap on that, and then it says right here, airdrop, okay? All right, so Virgil iPhone, that's my phone right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And then give it a second. It's sending it over to my phone right here. And we should see something pop up. Voila, so there is the photo. And the same thing with the video too. Let me go back here. I'll send a, a short video clip I just made for a quick testing here. It's, it's an 11 second video here. So let me just tap on that. Again, bottom left hand corner. And then, oh, it showed up. Virgil uh, iPhone here. And I'll go ahead and tap. Give it a second here, and voila. And then it goes right into my photos gallery. So pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or have any issues. You know, the thing is, sometimes I do have issues with AirDrop, or sometimes you have to, like, uh, basically turn the Wi-Fi on and off. You have to turn the uh, Bluetooth on and off. Sometimes it gets to a point where you just have to do, like, a um, restart your phone or whatnot, and then it actually works. Sometimes you have to restart, like, both phones. Uh, but that's in very rare cases. Uh, usually, uh, AirDropper is quite dependable. So that's pretty much it. Guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.